Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can show the data grid row values to the text boxes. So for example, I select some cell or uh, the row from here and you need to uh, show the values, for example, employee ID in this employee ID text box, the first name in the first name text box, last name in the last name text box and the pay in the pay text box. How can you do it? I will show you in this video. So let's get started. Just select your data grid view and double click it and you will reach to the data grid view cell content change event. You can also uh, uh, choose uh, selected or selection change event which you can find here or you can also choose a mouse click event instead of using this uh, cell content uh, click event but for uh, uh, this video I'm using cell content change event. Now the first step is to check whether your cell index is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. So I will give this if condition and in here I'm going to write the index and I will verify the index if it, it's greater than 0 or not. To find the index you just uh, Take, you just need to take this uh, variable which is data grid view cell uh, event args and just paste it here which is simply e then just write dot row index and this will give you the row index and we will check if it's uh, greater than or equal to 0 um, and if it's greater than or equal to 0 we will uh, find out the row so we will just use this uh, object called data grid view and let's see what is the object name row data grid view row so let's search for data grid view row Okay, so this is our data grid view row is equal to, so I have given the row object is equal to this and then this will be is equal to the name of your data grid view which is data grid view 1 in my case, right. So just copy it and paste it here and then just write dot rows and then in the square bracket you need to pass this index which you get from the here from here right so just copy this and pass this row index here okay so what this will do is it will uh, pass the row index to this uh, data grid view row and now you just need to pass the values to the text boxes. So just select your text boxes and copy the name of these text boxes, paste it here dot text is equal to then just take this row variable and then just write dot cells which is this one and we use square bracket to find out the index. So this uh, you can do it in two ways. You can either provide the cell index of the row or you can just give the column name. So you see here column name you can provide or otherwise you can provide the index. So for example, I am using index for uh, now. So if zeroth index on the zeroth uh, row or zeroth column, you will be having uh, this uh, EID or employee ID. So we want to transfer the value from the employee ID. So we we'll write dot value and then we need to convert this value to string in order to show it in the text box, right? So just like this, okay? And the same thing you need to do it for the other text boxes first name, last name, and pay text boxes. And these index will change 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? And the first name text box name is text f name. 
which will come here and the last name text box name is text under, underscore l name and the pay text box, box name is text pay and let's try and run this program so I'll run the program username and password and I will load my table and let's see if it transfers the value or not so I will select this one and it transfers right I will select this one it transfers or I will select this one it transfers right so you can just transfer the value from your uh, table to the text boxes right so you can do this the same thing from selection changed event and how you can do it just select your data grid view and go to the event button here this one and then just go to the event called selection changed and double click this here and just copy the same code and paste it here okay and I will just hide this uh, code from here so just give this uh, so in this selection change event you don't need uh, this uh, row count here so I will just delete this from here and this also I will change but first we will write some code so just write data grid view cell and give it a variable name so for example cell is equal to null and in the next line we will iterate this uh, selected cell so we will write for each and then we will give the condition here and in here we will write the code so here we will write uh, for each selected cell so we will write cell for example this is your uh, object so whatever you want to give you can give it here in your data grid view cell so just copy the name of your data grid view dot selected cells and if this cell which is this one is equal to selected cell we will break so we'll just write okay and if the cell is not null if cell is not null not equal to null we will print these values so here comes the curly braces and this I will change it to this data grid view row row is equal to then this will be changed to cell dot owning row so just change this to cell dot owning row okay now let's try to run the program once again to to load the table and let's see you see here it's more flexible okay so wh whenever you click some cell this is changed okay so in this way you can uh, transfer the data grid view values to the text boxes i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now